Hello, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about dimensions and specifically about how to make the exterior chain of dimensions uh, in a more professional and detailed way. And uh, this video is the 10th video in the Unit 5 series, and that's all part of the Revit Architecture Element courses that I prepare for you. And uh, basically, I'm gonna go for a ground floor, and as you can see, I, I modeled. Uh, some of the dimension here for the center line. Now, probably uh, I might need to push the grids that I have a little bit further than the one that I have in the an AutoCAD background DWG file, and by that the existence of them will be really annoying. So, I almost uh, managed to you know get rid of or, or actually model all the important aspects. So for now, I'll just uh, hide them as a temporary hide so just uh, press E and H on your keyboard E H which is for some reason uh, the language here is Arabic so be careful uh, and when you have two languages uh, in the keyboard it might go you know like crazy you keep pressing the shortcut and it doesn't work so when I return it to English I just select here an E H again and you can see it's disappeared now, how to make a detailed and, you know, more advanced way of, uh, you know, making uh, a dimension specifically about the exterior ones. Uh, first, you have to do the exterior dimension. And in the exterior dimension here, the first chain of, sorry, of the exterior dimension is the actual, the far out, far, that's one that actually measures the entire width or length of the entire building so that's a uh, one mass of the building and that's the second mass of it so you need to want to make the overall dimension from the beginning of this point to the maximum of it here which is you know just a happy coincidence which is the overall here the same dimension so uh, I'm gonna do that one or that elevation so you need one dimension from this point specifically with the DI activated you need to press a couple of tabs probably and I'm gonna start it from here and zooming in with a couple of tabs to get it here and I'm gonna place it somewhere in here this is the most important one and it's that actually can help to indicate how big or how wide your building is so you can just get rid of this long legs here by dragging this ball and you know place it exactly somewhere here the second one so the first one is the overall you know overall length that goes even if you have more than two masses three masses it's the overall width or overall length of the entire building the second one is the grid lines so it as I've done here as you can see I'm just gonna push it here and it measures the distance between you know the center lines or the grid the third one is basically you know for the masses so this mass that's one and the second mass and instead of going to annotation and then you know go to a line and then you know use di by individual and then couple of tabs and you know try to find that out it's it's just because you go with the individual referencing so it's allow you to measure the distance from this guy to this guy for example you know that's why we have an individuals if you press that down you have the entire wall and then you select the wall you notice that rivet can help you to find the overall length of the entire wall and that's really cool I'm gonna place that and then uh, you need to select the middle one the middle bubble here or, or ball not the last one and then drag it to the edge of the wall and you, you can see it isn't actually sensed so you need a tab you know like this and then you drag the lower one up same thing here again that's an architectural exercise so you should have you should have measured the exterior and again the video here the video I'm talking about about more uh, or actually specifically about the exterior dimension so now that's the exterior dimension of this mass now the second architectural mass I can do it the same thing but I'm gonna you know show you again now I find this annoying second one so I'm gonna return to individual and di sorry and with a tab probably here it's going to give me the exact location that i want and you see it's snapped to the previous one that's also beauty and again i'm just going to push that up and you see it's also snapped to the place where this leg is and the same thing here 
see it's also snapped to it which is kind of cool and it's easy the time you know like to go ups and down to you know like try to make it exactly the same the last one the last chain or the last series of dimensions so that's for the overall building that's for the grids the third for the masses the fourth is the detail one so you're supposed to show exactly the windows and the gaps between the windows every detail every architectural fenestration doors opening opening uh, anything you add that should be measuring it so here it should be placed on individual actually sorry the entire wall because some people go individual and you know like do this you know it a bit of boring business you shouldn't do that I know it's fast but don't do that go to entire wall and when you click it's gonna give you the entire wall I know so there's an option here and then go opening and then go width don't go a center line and then hit OK and then one click and that's the beauty of Revit see one click and it gives you all the architectural opening in the door and also the distance between the door the window sorry to the edge of it actually to the center so might need a tab here and then you push that leg up like this if you hate this long leg like me just drag them up as I'm doing now and that's it you know it's that's the fourth chain of dimension and with it you can see that uh, again this one it gives you the detail the exact detail of the wall or the gaps between the wall or, or windows and all that whatever actually you added to the to the door itself to so the wall itself it should be shown in here some offices ask even to repeat that guy here and some of them just uh, you know they don't because we don't have any opening here but again some uh, depend on the office or the work you work, the, the company you work in some of them ask to repeat that some of them actually doesn't so it depend on you know so like this you know this one and this one technically the same I know and depend on the office or the company standard that you have but that's that's the most advanced and more detailed way of showing exterior dimensions so for this guy here again quickly we need di and the entire wall in this case i'm going to turn off the op the opening one click here and then probably a tabs you know and such and that's it probably need to drag the legs a little bit up here as such and then we need this guy and again that shows center line so it's gonna go further than the mass itself now again the entire depth of the building is the same it doesn't we doesn't have two masses like this and again I saw some I know I, I know some offices actually ask to repeat this step just to emphasize that the building is one mass so they do that yep so that's for the entire depth of the building that's for how many masses you have and you have only one so you have to do it I know it sounded sound crazy but some companies you know insist on doing this you can do just a three it, it isn't you know like uh, you can just cancel this one because this guy and this guy uh, are actually the same now the last one is again to hit the entire wall and then you go to opening and make it width and just select this and push that up like that you know you know the rest and that's about it you see moving the legs to the left and that's it we have this four chain exterior dimension I'm gonna do you know the whole thing uh, by myself uh, there and the next video I'm gonna show you the whole you know chain of them I think you, you understand now the idea of it I wish that you find that uh, video useful and in the next one I'm gonna show you how to model the interior dimension and how to manipulate you know the scale in order to control you know that the need that to do more than uh, one scale in the same document like 1 to 100 and 1 to 50 and how to control and how to create different views that have a different 
uh, scales and then finally we're going to jump to make 3d dimensions so that's it for this tutorial which is exterior dimension thank you very much and have a good day